Hopefully you've had two really easy weeks of gaining some knowledge for your classroom and creating some things that are very useful for, for, useful for you as a teacher. That's the whole goal of these classes so that you're making things for your specific classroom. Um, we have two, um, two projects for this week and I wanted to kind of go over um, them with you a little bit so that you had some information before you got started. The first one is an AI policy for your classroom. And so that is something that I really want you to be thinking about as when students come into your classroom, no matter the grade level, what's the expectations of use of AI tools? So ChatGPT, um, any chatbots that are within apps and things that can help or assist students um, while they're doing um, their lessons or their homework. And so I am in no way saying that you have to allow AI in your classroom. I completely understand my classroom is an elective class and I have a lot of freedom when it comes to what the students are working on for me. And so I am not pushing anything for you as a teacher to say that you need to be using AI with your students. I just really want you to see that they know about it and that it's going to be something they're going to be either trying to use or um, sneaking behind your back and using at some point. And so I think the more we can get up front with our students and tell them our expectations, the better. And so one of your assignments is going to be creating that policy, telling your students what is allowed and what is not allowed when it comes to using an AI tool. Maybe you're going to allow them to use it for brainstorming, but they cannot use it to write any type of sentence or paragraph for their paper. Maybe they'll, you'll allow it to give them an outline, but not um, you know, slides for a presentation. So just something to really think about. Um, you can format that assignment any way you want. So I have a very, very simple table that you can add bullet points or information into. But if you want to create a graphic or a video or anything, you are welcome to do that. Please be as creative as possible on that assignment or make something that's useful for your class. If that's a graphic that you can post on Google Classroom or a poster for your class, or just you know getting that information written down so you as a teacher know what your expectations are. So that's gonna be one of your assignments for this week. And then the second one is to use a AI tool, ChatGPT or Google Gemini to create a rubric for one of your lessons. So this can be for the lesson that you created um, in week two, or it can be a whole different lesson that you um, have that you just didn't really ever get around to coming up with a good grading rubric or grading scale for that assignment. And so and I got smart this time. I actually have my ChatGPT um, prompts already written here so that you don't have to watch me type and mess up when I'm recorded. And so I have already asked ChatGPT here to create a rubric for me. Um, one of my graphic design classes at the end of the year created and designed cereal boxes. And I never um, broke down that um, lesson to have a grading rubric and I was really upset with myself at the end of the year that I didn't have my rubric to just go through and score the students. So that is what I asked for here. I told ChatGPT that I was using Photoshop or um, Illustrator that I require one of the grading sections to be about work ethic and then I wanted the scores from to go to zero to five and so that's what I had asked for. I thought I was being very specific and I didn't quite get what I wanted and so I want you to know that you can continue asking ChatGPT questions or um, Google Gemini and they will work off of the prompt before. So I got some great sections here. I got my, um, you know, different things that I can grade the students on as far as what um, different types and I wouldn't have to pick all of these. I could use the ones that I want. I just don't like how it's formatted. I don't want to go and have to copy and paste this into a table. I want it to be a table for me. So I came down here and I said, make it only six sections because I thought that was too many. I want it to be worth 100 points and format it as a table. And so I just gave it some more specific things and I still didn't get quite what I wanted here. Um, definitely gave me a table, but it changed the grading. I like when students know what to expect for a zero grade, a one grade, a two grade, and then you know what they would get for a perfect score on that section. I like it broken down into that. And so I was like, well, let's see if I can get there. And so I asked another question. I said, have the categories have columns with the descriptions of the type of grade levels exactly what I needed here. So I got my new rubric. Um, it breaks down all the categories that I want. It picked six good ones. Now I could easily swap these out. I will read through this and make sure that it is how I want these to be. When it, and, and I probably will put more specific things on there when it, it talks about their cereal box. But I didn't think that ChatGPT would be able to specifically do that for me. So I might come in here and have to change some of these up. But the formatting is exactly what I wanted. I have my work ethic um, grade in here. And then it even broke it down into like weights or how I could score each of these. So, you know, 20 points, you know, 20, 20, and 15, and it can give me the grade 
to be that 100 points. And so I really like that. And so just remember you can keep talking and adding to your prompts as you're working with an AI tool. Um, some article I read or somewhere they posted something that said you should ask prompts or write your prompts as you're talking to a human being. So no, I'm not, no ethical discussions here at all. I know that we're using a computer, but when we Google search, we search in a way that's very technical and that's not how you're supposed to be talking to ChatGPT or an AI tool. You should be having a conversation with them like you would be talking to a friend and how you would ask that friend for something is how you should write your prompts um, for um, your AI tool to kind of get what you're looking for. So don't be afraid to ask them or ask the, um, the AI tool to re you know shorten things, rephrase things to try to get exactly how you want. So hopefully you'll be able to get a rubric that you can use in your classroom and have that ready to go for this week. And then the last thing that I'll ask from you, if you don't mind, um, after week three is if you could fill out the survey about the class so I know what was a good feature, what was something that I could have done differently. I really appreciate any feedback. I'm hoping to be able to continue creating these classes for teachers over the summer or maybe into the school year. So thank you so much.